Time is running out to fill hundreds of open jobs at Metro schools before kids head back to class next month. Good evening, I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Carrie Sharp. Hard to believe some schools start very soon Metro in a little less than three weeks. Wow. Tonight, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon tells us a big turnout at a school's job fair, though, has district officials encouraged about filling those slots. I'm just kidding. Okay. It's become an annual tradition for Metro schools hosting a job fair before the first day of school. We had close to 700 candidates register, which is a, a record <laughs> for us. Uh, some coming from as far away as New York. All right, sir, I got you checked in. Every potential employee who came to the Millennium Maxwell House Hotel Do you have a vacancy list? arrived armed with resumes and big goals. I recently graduated Mississippi State uh, in my management and marketing degree. And I was just here trying to get a fresh start. Well, I am a recently certified teaching English as a second language teacher, but um, I was interested in branching out and looking into the public school systems to see what the need was there. There are currently around 900 open positions district wide, including 400 teacher jobs. The biggest needs are in exceptional education, math, science and English learners. The event allowed potential employees to meet directly with school leaders and other hiring managers and even be hired on the spot. Actually been able to make some connections from um, other places and been able to help direct and uh, help other colleagues as well. To help attract candidates, some positions come with financial incentives, including sign-on bonuses and referral bonuses. The director of talent acquisition for Metro Schools, Bridget Tubbs Jones, says applicants have a chance to make a difference in students' lives and work with a great team. We are so inclusive. We develop you professionally and provide you with the supports that you need to be successful. After a day of networking and interviews, district leaders believe steps were taken to build stronger schools. But we'll keep working until day one of school and beyond to, to make sure our students have the supports that they need. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. It's good to see people excited. Now, if you weren't able to attend the hiring fair, we have information about open positions under this story at newschannel5.com. The first day for Metro Schools, August 8th.